Right in that moment, like, oh yeah, that's good <laughs> shit, my nigga. Yeah, all right. And then after that, oh, is that it? <laughs> you, you, after you, that, damn sure, you, you damn sure getting up there, then, huh? <laughs> I'm getting up. I done told niggas. <laughs> Testing. Hey, can you test these mics real quick? One, 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 two. One, two, 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 two. All right, we got two minutes before we go live. Jeff Brown will be in here shortly. Oh, man. What up, YouTube? What up, YouTube family? What up, YouTube chat room? Oh, y'all done touch. You done touch the camera. She did. It didn't turn off. She just moved the angle. Where my lady Mimi at? Minding my business. <laughs> huh? And we good now. That's not. Hey man, good looking on the community tithing. There's five dollars in our little chat room. Don't forget to hit the super chat button. <clears throat> Let's see, what did it say here about Kev? Zo Kev, get lit, tithing early and often. Let's get it. Thank you, brother. What's up? It's 11 o'clock. Let's go live. He got the instrumentals. Let's go live. I love that beat. That beat sounds like the original So What shows when we first started doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, the So What Morning Show back in the building. You know we had to do it. We had to talk about the Libyan slave trade. It's a lot going on in the world, and it is very important that we deal with it today. I'm Zoe Williams. You're listening to the Zoe What Morning Show on Dash Radio, Dash Talk, to be specific. The number to dial is 323-230-4610. No, it's 323-230-4445. That's why you Generation X trying to hide. 323-230-4445. Kevin and I are in the building right now. Yep. Jeff is on his way, which is kind of commonplace. Always late. But he comes in and starts yelling and, Mom, stop, hit it, hop. You know how he does. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what we do in here. It's common for us to promote black-owned businesses. Let me hit you upside the head with this one, because it's coming back around. 
New Republic West. N U Republic West. These brothers take care of taxes, insurance, man. That Lending that brother, credit. That brother Tony? That's Brother Tony Muhammad, Minister Tony Muhammad of the Nation of Islam. Uh, New Republic West. They did my taxes last year. I'm going to have them do my taxes again this year. You under dick? NU Republic West. Get at them. They have many, many, many branches and offices, man. You could play another beat. That's fine. We got the intro right. My homeboy is a little late right now. We got to give him a shout, right? Wee Juice. Yeah. He in the building. Where you at, Hasizi? Hassan is not quite here yet, <laughs> but you know he going to roll up late like him and Jeff hanging out now. <laughs> Wee Juice, O-U-I-J-U-I-C-E, weejuice.com. He comes every week and drops off juices and supports us, and we appreciate him greatly for doing so. Also, Total Package Energy, the best energy shot ever created. And I didn't had them all. <laughs> Did I tell you about Pitbull energy drink? No. You know the dude that owns Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles yeah. owns the Pitbull energy drink, oh, too. Nah. <laughs> That's why it tastes like Kool-Aid. That to me. Oh my God! See, I'm I'm gonna be Kool-Aid honest. Energy drink. That pit bull energy drink is the best tasting <laughs> energy drink. It's all sugared up. But I will say this: Total Package Energy tastes as good. Look, they go Hassan late. Yep. Taste as good. I need everybody to get out there because of the shopping and the holiday season and all the stuff going on. You know, you need extra energy. This is how you get it. TotalPackageEnergy.com. We should all get two cases right now. The cases are very cheap. I shouldn't say cheap. I'll say <laughs> inexpensive. Affordable. affordable right? Very <laughs> affordable. Right? Please, please, please go support Total Package Energy. That's TotalPackageEnergy.com. But I'm going to say this. This stuff actually works. A lot of people got energy drinks falling asleep on the road. This won't happen with Total Package Energy. I promise you. This is the drink. No this jitter, is the no one. No jitters either. No jitters, none of that. No sugar, no carbs. It's the best. Total Package Energy. Also, the relationship dismount. Got about 12 copies of this left. 12 physical copies of my book. After that, I'm not printing up anymore. You're just going to have to go on over to Kindle and iBooks and all that. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold up. Hold, put the goddamn Leo, juice back. Leo put it back. Let the man set up his display first. <laughs> oh, this was mine. God. You know you're going to get a juice. The one you want. You want this one? I got you, man. You you got this one. Damn. Change his name to Handyman. He was quick. He was. Anyway, about 12, maybe 15 copies of this left. The relationship dismount, how to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship. We are working diligently to finish the follow-up to this book. This is 2015, the 2018 version which is the holographic relationship. It's on its way to you. Go to my website to get them both. Pre-order your copy for the holographic relationship at IamZoeWilliams.com. Also, order your copy of the relationship dismount at IamZoeWilliams.com. The website for IamZoeWilliams.com was created by a good friend of mine, Triumph Beyond Designs. His name is, you know him? Is he working for you too? <laughs> yep. Was he just, he just he's, he actually just finished finished he, my site? He just finished your Weed Juice uh-huh. site, didn't he? Yep. You know he revamped it, made it look much better. It's fly, right? Yep. No problems. Got yeah. some Canadian, you know, Canadian ship, shipping. Uh-oh. You look know, at doing that. Canadian work out there. Um, look at you. Look at you. 
trying to build, trying to you know, trying to do some big things right now. If you want your website to be as fly as mine and WeJuice.com, go to Triumph Beyond Designs website. Now, I got a couple more. I got a couple more things to promote real quick. Some very good businesses. Android Ohm. I'm wearing a pair of the Android Ohm sneakers right now on the super fly side of the game. Luxury sneaker brand, AndroidOhm.com. Ohm is spelled H-O-M-M-E. Android, like your phone, AndroidOhm.com. If you mention Zoe Williams, you get 25% off. That's the hookup. They're luxury sneakers, so don't think they're inexpensive because they're not. They're designed here in L.A. Very quality, good quality. Handmade in Italy. So don't think you're going to go in there and get the Kmart specials. These are not the Kmart specials. Pro wings. And I'm not trying to diss (laughs) nobody. (laughs) I'm not. Do you know Skechers saved uh, a big baller brand? What do you mean? Do you know? Do you know that that Zoe shoe is 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 a Skechers? It sucks. It's a Skechers shoe. It's a Skecher. (laughs) They, you know, like manufactured by some of the same people that deal with Skechers and. It was a shoe that came out called the Steel something. It's the exact same shoe. Wow. So when I mention Android Ohm, Android Ohm designs their shoes here, but those shoes are handmade in Italy of the highest quality. Yeah. (laughs) Zoe Williams is your code. You're going to get 25% off. That's how that works. All right? Who else do I have to promote? certain people. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Shepherd Sweets. Candy crack. Hey, yo, it's the holidays, man. You mm-hmm. want cakes and mm-hmm. pound cakes and sweet potato cakes and candy crack and Christmas bark and all kind of <laughs> other shit. Go to shepherdsweets.com. Also, let me get over here real quick to Kev. Yo, Kev, what's your deal, man? Yeah. I just finished the uh, Face of the Dragon documentary today. Um, I'm really proud of it. Um, the only thing, I don't have any music, so I haven't uploaded it yet, because Zoe wouldn't hook me up with a song. Sure but won't. Brother DJ Ramirez has promised to hook me up, so it's all in the game. But um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to check that documentary out, um, you guys got to sign up to Patreon.com. That's P-A-T-R-R, <clears throat> excuse me, P A T. R E O N slash real nagas and um, sign up there. The subscription is only like two dollars a month for the lowest one, um, and it's in three parts. It's a two and a half hour documentary. Where you after this, you pretty you got to be pretty diamond blind and dumb. So it's in three parts. If you want to if you want to see part one, if you don't want to sign up for a subscription, you can uh, just donate to GoFundMe.com slash real nagas. If, uh, anything over ten dollars, actually ten dollars, I'll send you part one. If you want. Uh, Two, if you want both parts, or part two, um, $15. And if you want all three parts, just 20 bucks. So go and hook that up for me, please. And you guys will, you, you guys will not. <laughs> Man, I'm tripping right now. You know what happened. But uh, you guys, I need that support today. Um, I'm, in a, I'm in a little bind, so I need you guys to hook me up and go and check that out. All right? All right, look. We're about to take a quick break. No, we're not going to take a break. We're just going to go in. Because I think it's important. I was going to take a little break to wait on Jeff. But Jeff will walk in whenever he walks in. How about that? You coming? Today's topic is very important because I ask a specific kind of question. And that is, I mean, this is going to be kind of controversial, I guess. Because according to everybody's history, they get around to this in some kind of weird way because of the way they treat black folk all over the world. Philosophy, racism, all that, right? So I asked the question, were black people originally created to be slaves? Now, I know the answer to this. (laughs) You know, a lot of people who who believe like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was talking to my cousin who's a Mormon. 
And I was like, do you know the history of Mormonism? With respect to how they view black people. Like, I can't... You understand? Like, be, being a Mormon is like joining the KKK to me. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Like, they believe kind of the same things, you know? They say, well, wait a minute, so what is your foundation on that? Well, the KKK is a is a, a secret society. It's a it's a Masonic order. Right? But so is Mormonism. <laughs> it's a, you know, your founder is mm -hmm. a Mason or was a Mason mm -hmm. outright and integrated all of those same beliefs. Crazy. So when you start looking at the history, the way black people are portrayed globally is, oh, well, Moors, or before they were Moors, whatever, have always been slaves. Like, they were born to be slaves. That That's the history. Now, I don't mean that the history is accurate, because Lawrence Gardner, you know, you know Lawrence Gardner, that guy, he'll say in one breath, oh, well, we have divine right to rule because our bloodline goes all the way back to this then when you say all the way, I like catching them with this. All the way back where? <laughs> you mean Africa? They'll be like, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Nick? <laughs> wait a minute. First, they'll go all the way back to Jesus. This is how they justify the royal, right, right, the, the royal the, bloodline. The right. royal bloodline. They'll say all the way back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But then when you start researching Jesus quote unquote the real jesus you start recognizing like hey that was a brother <laughs> if you read the scriptures <laughs> if you if you do the research on the ge right. genetics of the people at that time you go hey wait a minute hold on look they go late late mm -hmm. guy on the phone too why come in on the phone let's just watch just be quiet watch We just fucking with you, Jeff, as you come in late. You sitting right here, Jeff. Get him a chair, too. Let's let's get Hassan a chair as well. So today I wanted to cover this, right? A deeper look into the history of slavery as well as the ongoing slave crisis in Libya. Gosh, I got quick questions, and then we're going to jump right into it. Why is there a slave trade going on in Libya today? Who's responsible for it? How is Libya handling the slave trade crisis? Of course, Jeff is really excited because his beats are playing right now. <laughs> There's another dude you can ask for beats, Kev. Yeah, Kev needs beats. Getting these beats? Yeah. Got beats? Okay. I'm a killer. Oh, yeah. Killer. I'm a killer. You are a killer. Nigga, yeah. Okay, but, cool. I, no, I, I ain't. No, no, okay. Let's, let's, let's just take a, that, a quick it's detour. Too <laughs> it's too late. A, a quick detour. It's too late. <laughs> is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, when I was 20, when I was 22, I was 25. Oh, you mean a detour from the topic? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> when I was 25, mm -hmm. my ass whoopings was like matches. You step on my foot, goddamn, and I light one. Mm -hmm. Look at me wrong. I'm feeling ass whoopings is like road flares. And first off, I don't know how many I got. <laughs> Second, I only pop them in emergencies. In emergencies. Okay. Daddy, some niggas are broke in here. <laughs> oh, these niggas fucking with my money? <laughs> oh, you can say something about my wife? <laughs> I ain't popping no roll flare because you snap on my sneaker. Nigga, I got some simple green. I'm Unless gonna... they're Android arms. Oh, yeah, I might have to pop a flare on my Android arms. <laughs> That shoe, that shoe, shit. That's half of your rent right For there. Real. That's shoes ain't cheap. More than big balls. God damn it. All right. Gosh. Well, let's go back for a minute. I'm sorry. Why would, in, why would it, uh, in the face of all of these human atrocities happening in Libya today, would Zimbabwe open talks? So you know Mugabe is out in Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah. And Mugabe was like, white people get the hell out of here. Period. You have 45 minutes to leave Africa. 
Return your lands. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Brandon Bowen. That was one of Brandon Bowen's, my favorite Brandon Bowen jokes. <laughs> so, but what's crazy is, with all of the human atrocities going on in Libya, where they just, fuck it, we brought back slavery, why would the Bring new president or the new rulers of Zimbabwe open up talks with a country, Great Britain, mm. that has always been complicit to racism, to mm -hmm. slavery. That they colonized you. For, let's become a commonwealth again to Britain. The new, what? The, the new dude's an agent? How about it? <laughs> How, what is the role? What role d d did the Arabs play in the enslavement of African American people? We know what <laughs> roles these motherfuckers is playing <laughs> with the enslavement of Africans right now. Right. It ain't changed. Shit. What should the surrounding African countries do about the Libyan slave trade? Well, you see, Zimbabwe is already in business. Again, let's be a commonwealth of yours. God damn it. We got, we got a lot to cover. One word man. order, bringing it all together, man. So let's deal with the first question. Were black people originally created to be slaves? <laughs> According to the doctor. It's a, it's, it's a real question. According to the doctor. According to everybody's history. According to all yeah. the religious beliefs. Right. Look well, at Jeff. The I thought we had them That's, hey, let first. me just tell you. Hold on, pimp. This is what happened to you when you late. You get this look on you. Take a picture of his face. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't believe how ignorant. That's like, <laughs> fuck. That's where black people. <laughs> Tore your whole head off, dude. How the fuck can you arrive? How do you even? That's, that's like saying. It's so fucking ridiculous. Well, it's not. Well, according to the, the oldest doctrine that you have in the Sumerian doctrine, it, their cosmogony, which is their God. Wait, that's too far. Huh? Wait, that's too far. Let's not go all the way mm -hmm. back there. Let's start. But that's the first writings about it. But wait, that's that's a whole different context. So let's go to the context of today, today's context of slavery. Okay. When white people come in okay. and start rewriting the shit, Okay. Yeah. Go All there right. first. If you go back to where Kevin is going, the average motherfucker is not going to go back there first. He's no, going to no, go no. Christianity. He's going to go to three Abrahamic In religions. In the beginning. Right. That's but, what he's going to do. But that's my point, though, is that it's a reference. You said were they created to be slaves. And I'm saying but, as far as the doctrine goes back, you can touch on that. That's what was first written about. That no, yes, but, they were created to be slaves, and then you can bring it on back. But I'm talking to... about today's perception. Because if you go with today's perception, perception is, like, like for instance, the, uh, the, the, the books that down the art remember image of the black image of the art. black in, in western, western art. art the first two volumes of that book deal with what the moors and they deal with black royalty yes in europe and you see all the pictures of black royalty you see the three wise men mm -hmm. as black men you see black kings and queens inside of european made castles right with white people coming out of the bushes with sticks. Right. And you see they're, black people. This and is... They're, and they're, and they're, yeah, and they're, they're, they're both Muslim and Christian. Right. The same. They're both Muslim and Christian, and they're both referred to in the books as Moors. So Moors. now, so now, let's let's go back. Because we want to start with the common perception, then mm -hmm. we can go back to the original perception. The common perception is based on volume three, Yep. Of that book. When it started coming out. Now, in volume <laughs> three of that book, what did they call it? What was the name of the chapter of that, or, or the name of that that book? Volume three. I forgot. The, uh, the, the New the Negro. New, oh, right, the New Negro. So they had a whole new perception of who black people were. Came from, yeah, came from this, this super prestigious, uh, you know, royalty state. And then 
it, it literally shows you the progression of how you were so, I mean, so high. You were literally standing next to kings and queens while everybody else was bound to the king and queen. You were chilling on the wall, like, what these niggas bound for? Right. And like, and so then- What all time these, is lunch? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's, <laughs> that's how they were looking at it. Like, what right. the fuck these niggas bound for? Mm -hmm. So then all the way on up to where now you you shucking and jiving and dancing on stage and you, you know, you, you right. did jigaboo and all So the jigaboo, the coon, mm -hmm. all of those images, What's the name of the book again so people could go get it? Image of the Black in Western Art. Image of the Black in Western Art. It is a three Sick book. volume book. Four. And no, it's four. It's four volumes. It's four volumes. And it's like two books to each volume. And it's, it's like showing books. what you were before the Western slaves <laughs> and all of that. Before you were recontextualized right. through well, Western well, eyes. It showed what you were in the early stages of Western minds in their art, how you were, this is how they looked at you. They were like, these motherfuckers are off the chain. And then as the history started to, you know, go down the line, they started to be like, well, fuck these niggas. You know, they, we, can, we need to take power. And so then they started to change the narrative so that they can take power. But that's how you, that's how you see the lineage. Right. What they so from a Western view... The Western view has always tried to cast black people in the image of servitude when they started. Because what's interesting about it is once they got an alphabet and they learned how to write. They start writing their evil shit down. They started writing from their perspective. They started writing from their from their angle. You get what I'm saying? Right. I want to win. <laughs> Can't win. <clears throat> right. Go ahead, Kev. Well, this is well, this is funny because this is what the documentary I wrote is about. It's a, about this slavery and how they depicted you in history. So on there the surface, go. they wrote about you as, you know, they tried to make it seem like you were always in servitude. But then what they did is put your actual history in all of this mythology about dragons right. and phoenixes. And so you will never find it out. So, you know, everybody's around here worshiping dragons and phoenixes, and you don't understand when you're looking at that shit, that's, that's actually you. you. Right. I mean, when, I mean it's, and it's so simple. It's so blatant that, I mean, they laugh at, they laugh at black people when they, when they seriously think about it. They don't understand this shit because they'll show you a movie of a knight fighting a dragon. And so then if, if you just did simple history... He'd be like, okay, a knight was around this time, you know, Middle Ages. Okay, mm -hmm. well, who were they fighting in the Middle Ages? Now, now, what's interesting, <laughs> what's interesting is anything demonic in your Bible, anything mm -hmm. demonic is dark, is dark yep. and black. The dragon is actually mm -hmm. Lucifer yep. in the book of Revelations. But when you go to Europe, you see that the dragon is a symbol of sovereignty, is right. a symbol of kingship. If you even go to China... The, the first emperor believed that he was part dragon. Yes. Enter the dragon. Thank you. Even, Do you get what I'm saying? That 666, that 666 thing, too, is also you. We're, there, you're a carb, we're carbon based, you know, we're carbon based life forms, but your melanin is probably the, the oldest carbon based life form or, or carbon based substance. And carbon has uh, nine, has nine uh, atoms in it. So it has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. So that's that's the number nine. So six six six, and so that would be you on a on a, a, a atomic scale. How six 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 the number nine. Okay, six six six. I mean, it's eighteen. Three sixes 18. is eighteen. 18. One and eight, eight is nine. Divided by two. One, one and eight is nine. Or okay, eighteen divided by two is nine. Oh, just settle down. Jack. Yeah, but <laughs> the six 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 though. That's the chemically. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> Did you smoke before you came in? No, I'm just no. I'm just trying to keep. Lowest common denominator, bro. I got a it's called lowest common denominator. Okay. Motherfucking F is hilarious. No, but I will go back to say, and then you also have to remember people like uh, Alistair Crawley. Yep. Oh, yeah. He broke down the real meaning of 666. It's not actually 666. It's 777 because of the Hebrew letter Shane. Shane, Shane, Shane is 777. Right? It's not 666. It's 777. Shane, Shane, Shane. That's the Shane, Shane. That's Don't start. Shane. Don't. <laughs> like, like the old cowboy movie, Shane. The little boy was a like, Shane. Shane. Just get his book. Don't be afraid to read it. Just get his book. Which book this is, man? Alistair Crawley, 777. Alistair. You look that motherfucker up. It's on Amazon oh. right now. <laughs> so, again, there's been the whole point of going through
all of this shit right here is to basically say history has been has been weaponized against black people. So, wow. An Arab thinks oh, well, these are just black people. I, I can buy a nigga. Right. <laughs> right? I can sell one. Right. I can, you know, in his mind because cuz there has to be a historical precedent for him to think for in his to mind go that way. Yes. Hey, I can sell some people who are leaving their country, going through hours, trying to get to Europe to have a better life. Right. And trying to cross the Mediterranean. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to preempt that journey. Right. <laughs> and it's perfectly all right it's because <laughs> the history says that that's who these motherfuckers yep. was put here. Anyway. We've been doing this. We've been doing this. So now. It's like pissing in the woods. It's it's okay to piss it's on okay a tree. To piss in the woods. In the, the deer woods. does it. <laughs> Everybody pisses out here. Right. So again, history weaponized against black folk. Now the real question is why? The history has been hidden. Mm -hmm. We got we got uh, proof of fucking Napoleon saying, you know what these? <laughs> I'm a Mason and. <laughs> And I believe in the Masonic laws and mm -hmm. all the shit that we... But George you know Washington. what? This... Yeah. I'm going to have to shoot the nose Blow off. Blow that nose out. As a matter of fact, everything in Egypt is way too black. Yeah. And the other part of the... This is what? There's two things that they recognized in Egypt when they went there. Noses is too big. These are black people. Right. We can't let the world know that these are black people. And them dicks are too big. Yeah. <laughs> see, you won't see the dick shit until you go to the Louvre. Right. Until you right. go to Egypt. The phallic shit. Yeah. They so would... you already knew. Mm -mm. Big dicks, big noses, this That's ain't right. us. Their noses, them skin billy clubs they got in their pants. We can't deal with that shit. Now, you got people that are nationalistically or, or uh, their nationality... Mm -hmm. Is Egyptian, but they're not the ancient Egyptians. No. no. Now I've said this before. If the pyramids and the tourist money didn't make so much bread that the Egy the current <laughs> Egyptians, the Arabs, the mm -hmm. Islamic Egyptians would have tore tore that shit down, like they done tore down other shit. Other artifacts, artifacts, right. and Historical. they blew up some giant Buddha in Afghanistan. They will tear some shit the fuck up because they see it as adultery, right? Mm -hmm. I, uh, idolatry, idolatry. Yeah. according to the tenets of Islam. They won't let them fuck them pyramids up, though. Well, they ain't gonna let them fuck mm -hmm. the pyramids up because the pyramids make too much money. I don't think. And also, the elite who run this damn world worship that shit. I was about to say. <laughs> the, They'll the, kill anybody no, who tries to fuck with that shit. There's no <laughs> coincidence that the pyramids are geographically where they are. They mean some other shit that has not come to fruition yet. But the government of Egypt makes bread. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, hell on yeah. the tourist oh, yeah. side oh, of the yeah, game. Yeah, they got some of my paper. Yeah. Yeah, and it is. Up until ISIS rolled through. <laughs> you, you, but you know, <laughs> yeah. you see what I'm saying? No more tourism. We and here. then I'm going to go, and I'm setting up the topic because I want y'all to go in on it. Okay. I'm going to go Dick Gregory here. Oh, shit. You going to go meatless? And... Who is the Libyan slave trades PR person? Damn. Dick Gregory would say, who's, who's taking the pictures? Huh? Who's taking the pictures? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking the pictures? Some of this shit is propaganda, and some of this shit is real, and we need to understand why this is able to happen in the world today, and the slow response from A, America, and B, the, the, the whole, what, what do they call it? America's... Uh, our little union of motherfuckers. What is it called? United? Not, not United the UN. Nations. 
But we have See, so you know, on foreign relations. All just everybody that's down with what the fuck we do. <laughs> you just white folks in suits taking meetings. Just all of them. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> I'll do the UN. I'll do that. Some when we form when we go to war, we get a little coalition together. Yeah, it'd be a coalition of countries like we right. not. I'm a NATO. NATO. Oh, whoever. <laughs> We yeah. not finna hand, we not finna let none of this bullshit go down. <laughs> yeah. Why isn't that happening right now? Oh, that's very simple. Talk to us. Oh, uh, America. America's heart bleeds for the people whose resources they don't already control. Oh shit. That's who that's when it's always <laughs> that's when it's a tragedy. Oh, look what they're doing to those people. That's when you get to see, warning, these images are graphic, but we're going to show them to you so we can send your young kids off to die. And then they show you pictures of, of mutilated bodies and of horrible shit that happen to be in areas that interest us. Right. Somebody okay? said it in here. China been fucking their people over forever. And China going, yeah, motherfucker, what? Poking you in the chest. And the U.S. go, you know what? I don't, I don't want none of that. Somebody said it in here. It's the G7, the G20. Oh, right. All those countries. All them summits. That y'all summit and come together. Now, we already know Barack Obama is partly responsible, but I never hold a president Mm-mm. responsible what he told to do. for Ever. anything. Ever. Because all they're doing is, is playing a mm-hmm. role because they're the figurehead. They're the, they're the person yeah. who... <laughs> pushes through agendas that have already been in motion. If you don't get this, the best way to help yourself is to go down to Ralph's or whatever grocery store is close (laughs) to you. Get yourself a can of Campbell's soup. Go home, open the Campbell's soup halfway, shake out the contents, and take that jagged edge and run it across your throat and kill yourself (laughs) if you don't understand that the presidency <laughs> since November 22nd, 1963. Uh-oh. The presidency has been about this. Which person wins the popularity contest that will determine who the people are most likely to receive, most likely to positively receive the bullshit we going to give him to say. Yes, sir. And he, that, that dude... This fucking roller coaster he, is even, going where it's still, going. The president is just in the but, front fucking seat. But even still, deeper than that, it has to go back to who's the bloodline. There's yeah, no, all the presidents all have all been related. It's not every single that damn one of them. Even Hillary and Donald Trump are cousins. It's one family. Yep. So there's if you if you're in the bloodline, you can get in. If you ain't in the bloodline, mm-hmm. there's no way you sitting in. It's that like damn potato cheese. salad at Big Mama's picnic. That's no coincidence that every goddamn president, every fucking single one. Yeah. Has been related. Come on, going back to King. Going back to King. Have you ever tried to really even? (laughs) And and that just makes it even weirder because even the black one, right? Even the black one. (laughs) Even the black one. Dude, dude. The presidency (laughs) is like this. You ever have a family reunion at a park? We're like a black people family reunion. Yes. It's some, it's some niggas in charge of making sure don't no stray niggas get yep. in. Right. Okay. Who you Who's with? Who you yep. with? <laughs> Who you with? Who you with? Who you with? Who you with? That's side. the real shit right there. Imposter. That's the real shit. Who yes. you at? Hey, what's Who your, you mama your mama yep. name? What's your mama name? Where you at? Ernestine, Ernestine. Oh, Is you, this you your mama? marriage. You hear my marriage, okay? You can oh come in, God, but stay away from right the there. potato salad and the ribs, nigga. You hear about my marriage. <laughs> Oh my God! Man. That's the same shit with the presidency. So but America doesn't say anything. If, there's a, there's some videos that you can watch on YouTube of the actual slaves who have gotten free, and they tell you about what happened when they were in captivity. So like this wow, one, wow, really? This, this one guy, he he was uh, enslaved five times. He escaped five times. Yeah, he escaped five different times. This dude's luck and, is horrible. And yeah, that's what he he was like. I cry, I'm cried out. So his his video was just straight telling it what happened. And he was breaking down how in Libya, they got private prisons in Libya, the Libyan people, the citizens. So they're all in on the shit. So they, they have prisons in their backyard that hold up to 50, 40, 40 migrants. And they're, wow. they're selling them off. They're like, this shit is big Get game. Get the fuck out it's of here. Europe, yeah, Europe At is your pays, house? Yeah. 
Europe pays uh, the Libyan government for their jails, for, to, for their prisons. So this is how this shit goes. So the, the, the Libyan army, who's supposed to be in charge, to know about on a different level. He's like, we're in, and he's been in. All right, and then we go talking about earlier. We gonna cover that part too, but we were not born to be slaves. That's number one. Number two. Once we start covering all of the covert shit that's been going on, now more than ever, black people have to come together globally. But black people too, too, too desirous to do business with white folk. And, and too disconnected. Okay, because the, they, they, they taking slaves from Libya. Nigga, they ain't taking no slaves from Memphis. They didn't take little Travion, so I don't give a fuck. Oh, right, shit, little, here we go. Little Dartavion is fine. Little Dartavion? Dartavion! Yeah, we don't, we don't connect ourselves <laughs> with anybody other than the people we know, and half of them we don't like. All right, here we go. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back at 2.2. DJ Julian Ramirez, do your thing, man. Uh.
Hey, listen. The Zo What Morning Show back in. If you want to hear the mega mixes that DJ Julian Ramirez slapped us upside the dome piece with, all you got to do is go to the Dash Radio app. Why don't you download the Dash Radio app? You could do that. Download it. Check it out. We're on live. Let me see. I can show you right now. You under dig? I got the Dash Radio app right here. Yeah. You know, here, let me turn the volume down so it don't bang on us. Don't Dash Talk is right there. You see it, right? Pow. You, you under dig? Dash Radio. And what happened? Jesus. This is a Leo for sure. What's that? You know, lions sleep 23 hours a day. Yeah, that's right. Eat, be fuck, over go some, back to sleep. Over there kicking it. But listen, Julian Ramirez is killing the game. DJ Julian Ramirez on everything. IG. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. My man is cold. You bad boy. You bad people. Cold peace. He's ridiculous. Who did this beat right here? I think it's him. That's one of his. That's you, boy. <laughs> dude, he got some. Yeah. Dude, he got beats, yeah. dude. Yeah, this that hot fire right here. It's hot like fire. <laughs> your, your fire is very hot. That you are playing the hot fire. You're like water. Would Hulk like, like water? fire. <laughs> Get him, get him, get him some dates. And you, how much do you need? One hundred thousand. I only have a hundred thousand. Get him the hundred thousand. He is hot like fire. He's hotness. He's hot. I like the hotness around me. <laughs> hotness. 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 Sometimes hotness, hotness is bad. Hotness can be bad. <laughs> Ask Al Green. Ask Al Green. Hotness is bad. For the grits on his back, he was hot. Oh, the grits shit. were hot on his back. He does not want the hot grits on your back. You don't want that. Sometimes hotness is bad. When you go to the doctor, when you go to the doctor, and you oh, are burning God. in your pants, the that grits. is bad hotness. You don't want that type of hotness. The grits on his back. That is not the Julian Ramirez hotness I am speaking of. When your dick is burning like fire, you don't want that. Oh my God. You want the hotness like you're here. Right hey, now. so look, let's do this real quick. Very important, super chatters. YouTube, we, you know, YouTube, people are watching us live on YouTube right now, right? Uh, if you want to donate to the show, to, you know, what we're doing here, there is a dollar sign at the bottom of the chat room. If you click the dollar sign, it, I think this only works when you're on your laptop or desktop. I don't know if the... You the can little, do it from the app? I don't think you could do it from your phone. Oh, okay. I don't think so. But if you want to donate to us, please do that. You know, we try to keep the shows liquid. We try to keep them on fire. And today's topic is no exception to the rule. We're talking about the atrocious... Oh, God. This is the evil that's going on in Libya right now. Black slaves again. Why can't white people be on slave markets again? They are. What are the good old days? It's <laughs> just hidden. Listen, what about the good old days? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Way back in the day. Way back in the day when white folk was on. Was... Bite your tongue. You, do you know that, that we have been programmed so long that there is a twinge of nervousness? You ever see? You, you ever? Well, I don't know if you guys do, but uh, as a comedian, I'll get on stage and if I say some shit, derogatorily about white people you can this is 2017 and you can hear black people in the audience go no nah, nah, you know what's crazy though i love what Tariq said on the breakfast club he says we're somehow ra racism is radioactive toys from china pumped into the hood racism, racism is iron water. contra yeah, yeah, yeah that shit's racist that's racism like, you know what? Fuck it. I bet you if you check the water in Bel Air, that's something is just telling me. If you check the Dude, water I want to do that. in Bel Air, get a glass of water in Bel Air, I Beverly bet you. Hills, Pacific I'll, Palisades, I bet, you. I bet you. I bet you. If there are contaminants in it, it's not nearly as much not. as Could the I, inner city. Yeah. I guarantee it. 
I bet you that yeah. shit's well watered, Nate. <laughs> how, many, how many parts per billion in lead in Beverly Hills water? Oh, it's almost, it's, it's infinitesimal. You can't help. How many parts per billion of lead in Inglewood water? Eh, well, you're better off chewing a pencil. <laughs> like that. So let's go, let's do this a little bit different. Was Gaddafi as bad as advertised? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> was, was he a tyrant? No, I mean, he... He kept, didn't shit, take in, no he kept shit. shit in check. He wasn't no worse than George yeah, nah, Bush. Yeah, he kept shit in check, like Saddam did. Saddam, who, he was yes. smack, he was smacking people, but he kept he kept the order. Who dropped the nuke, <laughs> that, who dropped the nuke on area. Japan? Was it FDR? Who, who was who was the president that dropped the nuke on? Yeah, I think it was FDR. It was FDR. He wasn't as bad as FDR. Did he drop a nuke on anybody? Who who did who did Gaddafi nuke? Who did Gaddafi starve out? It wasn't it Truman that dropped the, that dropped the bomb? It wasn't Truman? No, 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 I don't, um... Uh, was it Truman? Okay. It was Truman. Okay. <laughs> the rest of the Earth, their currency is not backed on resources because they can't. Mm -hmm. Europe cannot back its money on natural resources. They don't have enough. All the natural... There's no cell phones. There's no uh, right. real engagements. Yep. That uh, uh, There's a whole bunch of shit there ain't. Hey, let's without find an Africa. African dollar. Yes. Yep. <laughs> he said, let's start an African dollar. So you're talking about the dinar. Yes. Yep. We're going to back it by gold, with, uh, um, which is going to fuck up the rest of the world's money. But fear not, Minister Farrakhan. I'm going to give you umpty million mm -hmm. dollars to balance out the fact that gas in America is going to immediately go to $14 a gallon. I'm going to make sure black people is cool in this scenario. So hey, get, get the fuck out of here. We're going to kill your ass. That's why he got killed. So let's do this. Ten things Gaddafi did for Libyans. Number one, in Libya, a home is considered a natural human right. Gaddafi had uh, a green book, right? The house is a basic need on uh, of both the individual and the family. Therefore, it should not be owned by others. Gaddafi's Green Book is the formal leader's political philosophy. It was first published in 1975. Basically, everybody got a house in Libya. Damn. Number two, education and medical treatment were all free. Under Gaddafi, Libya could boast one of the best health care services in the Middle East and Africa. Also, if a Libyan citizen could not access the desired educational course or correct medical treatment in Libya, they were funded to go abroad. Damn. Let's keep going. <laughs> Gaddafi carried out the world's largest irrigation project. Damn. The largest irrigation system in the world, also known as the Great Man-Made River, was designed to make water readily available to all Libyans across the entire country. It was funded by Gaddafi's government, and, and it said that Gaddafi himself called it the eighth wonder of the world. Number four, it was free to start a farming business. If any Libyan wanted to start a farm, they were given a house, farm, land, and lot. 25% of Libyans were liber literate. This figure was brought up to 87% with 25% earning uni uh, university degrees. Libya had its own state bank. We, mm -hmm. we know about that. Mm -hmm. And then the gold dinar. Well, the gold dinar would have definitely... Crashed the system. Crashed the dollar. Yep. Yep. Which is The dollar uh, is... Runs all the so, fucking systems around the world, so, mostly. So <laughs> let's understand what the dollar is. The dollar is the global currency, mm -hmm. currently. Now, in 2008, it was in jeopardy right. of losing its status as the global currency, meaning the dollar could be, you know, sold, uh, used in any country. Right. It could be exchanged in any country because it's more valuable than everybody else's currency. Mm -hmm. Before the dollar was the global currency, it was the sterling silver or the pound in Europe. But then, and, or in and, England. And other countries used the dollar to buy, like, their governments used the dollar to right. buy stuff. And what, what was happening was countries was sending their gold here to be kept here in exchange for dollars. 
Then countries, first it was France. Like, nigga, <laughs> France was the first one to pick up and say, I'm giving you gold you give me back for paper? a coupon? <laughs> right. Your dollar is a coupon, my nigga? Okay. France. France was like, eh, no, no. Give me, eh, eh, no, no. We juice. <laughs> 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 we juice. <laughs> give me, give me back, please. <laughs> give me back my gold. I'll give you back your dollars. And that's when the dollar starts losing value. I mean, think of it this way. This is what's so fucking crazy, man. Like, you gotta understand. This is why he was considered a terrorist. Was uniting all of those mm -hmm. African countries yeah, right. under some million. of the same principles. Of Marcus Garvey. Mm. He was like, we got to all work together against these motherfuckers. Because all they're going to do is come in here and rape Africa. Who? Listen, you got white people in South Africa right now that consider themselves as much as part of South African lore and history and the land mm -hmm. as the black people. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand, you guys came here by force. It wasn't an invitation letter sent out to Holland. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Would you guys like to come and, and, and enjoy take over our shit? the amenities of South Africa? <laughs> no. So, again, Gaddafi is painted as a terrorist. Now, let me just say this. Maybe Gaddafi was a terrorist. I don't know. All I know is what Farrakhan said. Farrakhan said the nigga was cool. Yeah. And as I read about him, that's all I know. And then when you read stuff like the 10 things that he did for his country, right. universal health care, free housing, Free medic. I mean, what the fuck? And then you have yeah, to define crazy. terrorists. Terrorists, now, terrorists to the other. Uh, uh, right. Why don't, yeah. Why don't you? <laughs> or terrorists to our interests. Right. I You're exactly. terrorizing our interests. That's what I mean. Yes. What I, mean. I, need you to do, I need you to define. I was going to say this for the rant, but fuck it. I need any time that you as an American call another nation of people terrorists. I need you to define terrorism in a framework that does not include America. Wow. Try to use the word terrorist in any definition, and I can give you 50 examples of our government doing it to somebody else. And worse. Perception. And worse. That's crazy, man. <laughs> that's, that's fucking insane. But, yeah, but he's... Again, just like him and Charles Taylor, who was running with Sierra Leone, and Kim Jong Kim, was Kim Jong Un now. Mm -hmm. um, so they trying. To, I mean, these are the countries. These are the, these are the holdout countries. I mean, they they have to bring this little one world order shit together. So they had Gaddafi. They got him out. Right. John, uh, uh, Charles Taylor got him out, but he even said he in the speech before they got him out. He said they want me out because I won't go along with the one world order. You can find that speech on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then. So Kim Jong, he's like, fuck y'all. <laughs> he's like, that, that's his thing. He's like, all right, y'all got out everybody else. I'm the last one holding. And, and Venezuela. And Venezuela, they're, yeah. they're holding out too. So they're 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 the ones that they're on the most to try to to try to get them in. But Venezuela is kind of going through some back shit and they're doing some they they're doing some ill shit with their money. But they don't need nobody no more. But Kim Jong un, that's why he's so that's why he's mashing so fast to try to get that damn nuclear weapon. Right. Because then now we're on, now now we're on an equal playing now field. Now that shit is that shit is right. done. Bring your ass over here and in. <laughs> so now I mean, that's that's what's going on with that. But um, this shit is crazy, man. Let me just say, let's go back. We already talked about this on numerous shows where we talked about how, you know, black people enslaved white people, which is a understanding for white folk. White folks is like, what? Yeah. Yeah. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> Never. All right, let me get this straight. <laughs> yes, talk to me. You mean tell me that there's a time. Yes, Travis. When the white folks. Yes, sir. Had to do what Negras said. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, why don't you pull the other leg and plays Jingle Bells? <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> we told y'all speed. For you to do so. You got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> White folks was... Get the fuck out of here. But there's a history. Yes. That, have, that has been obfuscated. Right? Purposely obfuscated. 
Many reasons. Right? Why, Kevin? Well, one, um, if you found out that you used to be in power, that kind of empowers you. Now you like, mm. wait a minute. Yep. I'm the prince of Zamunda, nigga? Right. <laughs> okay, nigga. He, my homie sent me. I'm her king. Okay, nigga. I'm her king. Where's what Oa? Is... My, this is my, my cousin's Oa, nigga. No. What is this? Oa? Oh, huh? <laughs> but that, I mean, that that's the main reason. I mean, they have to they have to keep, uh, for lack of a better term, that sleeping dragon down. I mean, you doing the, doing the research on this documentary is one thing that I started to find, man, is that the, the folklore that they've put together just basically symbolizes how ill you used to be back in the day. I mean, you used to, I mean, the fact that they got this super massive fire beast that they, I mean, they're, li- they're just little bitty ass. That is defined Caucasian. as you. Yeah, defined as you. But they're, they're the little small Caucasian. And you, when you see them in all these depictions, this little small human fighting this super gigantic fucking monster, breathing fire, it's, it's magical, all these different things, but they defeat it. So you gotta understand, like, okay, how do, how ill were we back in the day if they if they had to create not only this 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 dragon but also this phoenix this phoenix uh, character also they that's that's supposed to be the good. So this they, is Nagas. This right. is Negus. Right. This is this, the crocodile from Egypt. The, I mean, uh, uh, it's so back. So back. I mean, all the all the serpent, all these uh, these serpent beings in in, in ancient folklore. Are but all you know, let me just say this: you about to scare the shit out of Christians. What's because me? you can't have a messiah unless he's anointed. And the Egyptian practice was to cut the the, the, the crocodile's the tail fat, yep. off and then take the, the fat, fat out of the tail, melt it down it, into and, some oil, and drop it on the and then anoint the head yeah, right. of whoever the official or king or whatever. Right. The crocodile ass oil. So the work, so, no, the tail right. from the fat this nigga. Was crocodile ass, ass oil. Okay. So a uh, crocodile asshole on your forehead. It was it. Uh, what's the word? Uh, Musus or something? Mushy? So whatever the word yeah. was. Where Messiah mushy. comes from, right? Where the word Messiah, the right. Egyptian term, where the, where we get Messiah, right? Or yes. Hamashiach. So when you say Messiah, that's Arabic, right? El Messiah, the Messiah, and then Ha Moshiach. Right, the Messiah in Hebrew. One is Arabic, one is the same language, different dialect. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? But all that shit come from... Mean the same thing, they just said it different over there. Right. So you mean to tell me a reptile, a reptilian, is needed in order to become a Messiah? Yeah. The, the rep- Christians <laughs> don't want to hear that part no. of it. That Mm-mm. reptile is, is enlightenment. That's just a symbol for enlightenment. Look here, God is hope, and Jesus is the way. And that's all I need to know. That's yeah. it. Hold it a boko shot. Hold it a boko shot. <laughs> oh, oh should have come in the Chevy. Thank you, Jesus. So again, it's about obfuscating your history, right? Covering it up. Not only covering it up, but claiming it too. Well, that's again, that's the thing. You the, the crocodile or the serpent representing higher consciousness. This is how you were able to defeat them. Or to be in power for a thousand years. This is just the last time. So again, <laughs> this again, is the last what, time you were in power for a again, thousand years. What does the word dragon actually mean? Clear sight or eye. So they don't so, want you to have the eye. Right. Which is the third the eye. The third eye, opening the pineal gland. Which is why the Egyptians had the uraeus, the, yes, the cobra. The cobra on the forehead. But the cobra is not just African, it's also it's Indian. All, all, this is why every, you see the Buddhist. With Buddha had the exactly. whole cobras around him like a little protective Exa- shield. Exactly. It all, I mean, even the, the Nagas, the pine cone, okay, even cool. the, the, the pineal gland, the pine cone, it's all throughout throughout all civilizations. So they understood this, and this is the knowledge you were using on them to defeat them all the time. I mean, so it, why now we got to call out the Africans for for opening their hearts to Christianity? What do you mean? Call, what do you mean? You got to call the continent out? of Africa is the most Christian place in the world. Right. But they were, I mean, they were duped. They were colonized, <laughs> right. And conditioned. Yep. But at the same time, you got so were we. You got to be able to go, oh, okay, hell no. What do, you, what do you mean when you say the continent of Africa is the most Christian? You ain't seen Africa, Man, nigga? Man, them some Christian ass. Uh... <laughs> they didn't took Christianity. <laughs> First off, the they origins. Got the Kool-Aid you just got to remember, the origins of Christianity is African. Right, right. But Toxic. once once it left Africa and went to Europe and got westernized right. and recontextualized into you know, 
I always say the, the depiction of Jesus looks like <laughs> Pal Gasol. It looks like <laughs> once Jesus turned into Pal Gasol, that's it was all. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> He looks just like I you, I will too. slap the sweet <laughs> shit out of you. Did you just say when he turned into Pal Gasol? Once, but, once Jesus turned into Pal, it was over. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> the, he said uh, he got hair like wool and feet of brass. Nigga, that's Elder Barge. That's no, Elder, that ain't even Elder Barge. That ain't Elder Barge? You don't no. think it's Elder Barge? Mm-mm. Even, Skin of brass? That's Jim it? Brown. That's Jim Brown. <laughs> you stupid. So, you know, the fire, the fire breathing symbolism, it's... In Richie's book, uh, Ancient and Modern Britons, he talks about when they were warring, the Moors were warring against those different, uh, those different civilizations, they would use gunpowder, and they called it uh, fire rain. These different people called it fire rain. Mm. Right. And there's actually a movie called Rain of Fire. But the word rain the gr- is rule. Right. Like, it's not <laughs> rain exactly. like exactly. raining. Yes. It's the other rain. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Yeah. 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 Yes. They yeah. know what they do. They, they the way the prince, exactly what they're doing. The way the prince impersonators, when they call and sell purple rain, they go with the R-E-I-G-N so you don't get sued. At the very beginning of that movie, when the kid finds the dragon, he's in London, and his mom is a construction worker, they're, or they dig uh, tunnels underground. He goes into one of these little tunnels, these little off tunnels, and he finds the dragon. He wakes him up. The dragon is asleep, and he wakes him up. Then the dragon spits in his eye, and then he runs out. Mm-hmm. See, all symbolic. I mean, that movie is one of the most symbolic movies as well uh, as a uh, dragon but slayer. But let me let me just ask again: Why do they hate us? What I- the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> he was putting the dragon smackdown on him, dude. Some of us. <laughs> Yes, yeah, some of us. The, some Not of, all of us. But the majority. The Phoenix were the smaller portion <laughs> of, the, of that clan. That's why the dragon is so big. They had to defeat this motherfucker for, it took them a thousand years to defeat him. And so when you, when you, it takes you a thousand years to defeat somebody, you create all this different lore about how great, how great it was to finally get to that damn so point. So this is why Napoleon basically said, we can never let these motherfuckers rise again. Napoleon said you, that shit. Because <laughs> the black man can never come back. They, that yeah. is the whole game. They can never, we, or they want you to never know who you were. That's why they'll say, they'll take the, they'll take the heat of, oh, yeah, we were always, we, all, we invented slavery. They'll take that heat for that because as long as they're in power, there's nothing you can do about it. But with the psycholo- the psychologically, what it does to you is saying that, oh, I'm al- I've always been a victim, so it places you in a victim state right, right now. Mm. Okay, you never, go ser- you never go searching for, oh, shit, wait a minute, I used to be the motherfucker? I used to be the D-boy right Yeah, it's like, the, it's, <laughs> it's like the Globetrotters and the generals, mm. okay? We the generals in this scenario. You ain't <laughs> never, ever won. We need to let you believe right. that you ain't never won when really ever, ever, we the ever. 89 Lakers. <laughs> but we're not going to let you know you the 89. You are the generals now. You are the generals. Wow. Get ready to get hit in the face with some confetti. You are not. You ain't even in real shit. <laughs> this shit but is... If you, but it's... it's. I mean, if, if I look at it like... If I, if I place myself in their shoes, if I was getting smashed on for a thousand years, like black like people, oh, yeah, we've been we've been slave. We've been enslaved for... We've been enslaved for 400 years. But think about a thousand years. Like... The Moors had uh, Sicily enslaved for 300 years. So that, I mean, just think That's of, why them Sicilians <laughs> right. be getting so just, tanned up. Right, so just think That's about right. how long ago, like, this, you know, how long that is, a thousand fucking years. It's not just a number, it's a fucking thousand goddamn years. So, Ten centuries. Right, so if you had a... Yeah, if, if, you were, if you were hold, put down Hold on one second. Who in here got a mercury? You got to move your car, honey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, you car, boo-boo. <laughs> So go ahead, no, Kevin, finish, finish, ahead. finish your thought process and, and there, no, boy. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't be slow. They love towing cars. <laughs> they love that shit. You had your ass down in Hollywood, $100, toast standing there. Hundred dollar ticket. Uh, no, three hundred and fifty something. Oh, to get your shit name. back. Hey, hey, let me no. just say this real quick. You're listening to the Zo What Morning Show. Today's topic. We're just discussing like a loose conversation about history, about the history of slavery where the word slavery came from, why does the world seem to see or seem to believe that black people are perfectly made to be servants or to be in (laughs) servitude or to be sold? Like, if there's any part of humanity that we could sell, it could be niggas, right? Right. It's like we need to figure that out, right? Uh, We got a lot of black people 
who judge intellect by European standards. So if you say Ooh. niggas, they're going to say, well, you invalidated your conversation because you said the, 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 hmm. the most in, reviled yeah, right, world, right, right. word in the world. But if I say go fucking look up the word nigga and find out its roots beyond African or, or beyond European definition. Yeah. Look, at, look at what it meant 600 years ago, not Thank 500. You. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? So we, we have these kind of conversations because it's like, We've got to change the narrative for real. Blacks were slaves. W were we created to be slaves? Let's just go all the way back. Like I said, that's a biblical conversation. Right. And even the biblical conversation is young in comparison to the ancient conversation. Now, what's crazy to me is I've told people to check out the Sanusi, this old white man. I mean, this old black man, excuse me. This old black man from South Africa named Credo Mutwa. Yeah. Now, white people hip to him, yeah. calling him Baba. Mm -hmm. That ain't your daddy. No. See, white people, wanna they want to claim our history bad. That's so they'll right. say shit like, well, the modern human, our ancestor. First off, the modern human is homo sapien. Right. Homo sapien came the fuck up out of Africa. Period. Right. Now, when we start looking at the migration of the modern human out of Africa, well, first off, why did he migrate? He migrated after he almost died. After the modern human was almost wiped out. You know how he was mm -hmm. almost wiped out? Mm -hmm. Because of the fucking South, uh, so South Pacific eruption of that volcano Toba. Right? Toba was a world ender. That motherfucker erupted. It was a super eruption. An extinction level event. An extinction level event almost killed off all Homo sapiens. They said it reduced down to maybe like 5,000 people. God damn. And then we started to make our trek up out of Africa. What's the close? What's one of the closest places to Africa? Europe, Europe, my nigga. And so we, we went there. <laughs> we uh, uh, What they consider uh, the Holy Land, mm -hmm. you know, Sinai, and all, all that shit was us. Sumer, mm -hmm. Iraq, <laughs> Iran, whatever the fuck you want to name it. We were there first. All over this motherfucker. We go east, we become the Mongolians. Okay. And we go further east, we become... The Indians. We go further east, we become the Asians. This is why your emperor will say, well, shit, I'm, I'm a god king because I come from a royal lineage of the dragon. I got dragon blood in me. The fucking, the mm -hmm. Indians, the ancient Indians called it the Nagas. The Buddhists call it the mm -hmm. Nagas. Right. But isn't that really close to the Coptic Amharic Negus? Right. Well, what were Asians first called first? Or before they got politically well, correct? Off, Oriental. Well, 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 first, off, that, well yeah. first off, we have to understand what Asian is. Right. Well, Asian is the Arabic word, Asia. It only means East. Well, it means, actually, and you take it you take deeper than that, etymology, etymologically, both Oriental and Asian mean the same thing, the rising sun. And that Oriental... Well, etymology... Uh, Oriental and Asian as a word, mm -hmm. uh, as words, right, but, are English. But, but when we talk about where the English word comes from, I know. Asia I'm, comes from Arabic, Asia, just saying, means east. What all right, this, but it meant, it meant east because of the rising sun. The sun rose in the east, so it uh, meant no, the rising no, no sun. No question. Yeah. Right, so that was, applied, that was applied more to Moors. That was actually applied to the Moors first. Right. And Oriental, is, that was what they called them first. What does all this have to do with why they so goddamn stingy with them soy sauce packets? Because if you try to get <sighs> an extra one, you have to pay yeah. <laughs> Especially if Listen. it's taken. Oh, I'm sorry. Not <laughs> like, but no, but, no see, extra, no but, see, but see, all of this is part and parcel to why we're disorganized, right. why we're not together. You don't know who the fuck you are. You right. judge right. your level of success as black people by how far you climb in white society. Yeah. It's almost like it's almost like uh comparing how successful you are in your own home to how well you can play video games against your son. 
Wow. Mm. It's the exact same analogy. Wait a second. I am, I am measuring my success by he who came after me and he who came from me. What the fuck sense does that make? Right. That's the tail wagging the dog. That's, yeah. Right. That's, but we don't get that. Black people, uh, I had to go up to school. I had to go over to, I'll put, yeah, I'll put that in the rant. I had to go up to my daughter's school over this But see, that's, that's the thing that's really fucking me up. You know that every branch of modern human being comes from us. Yeah. So how then can you turn around and sell black people? Because we sold them. <laughs> no, you no. know. No, I disagree. That's, but you see, here's the thing. There's a rare history. That's rare. That's not a history we just fall out of bed and know about. No. But, but the, the, the but basic if, if history we, if, says... Right, but if we genetically can have... If we can have our ancestors and us genetically, then so can they. And agreed. That, and, and that... That you know that captivity oh. is deep within their genes. That that shit is embedded in there. Just These like, niggas did just us like wrong. we can be born so with the knowledge so of the so universe because and, and we haven't had that shit for you know thousands of years. The same thing. They that shit, they remember that their, shit. It's in their into it <laughs> knowing. Right. So they wake up. These niggas did us wrong. Oh, man, <laughs> I'm, and I'm telling you, man, when you <laughs> when you do the research on how. And fear the fear that these motherfuckers. Have. I was watching, oh, they still got fear. Dude, watch the Harry Potter. Just watch the Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets again, where he's fighting the Basilisk, and he, you know, and then the Phoenix comes and say that whole fucking one is about the but, whole thing. But Kev, that's only if you know that shit. But the I'm, average nigga right. is watching that shit like this shit is fun. This is right. wonderful. The, the, the but Phoenix. I'm, I'm not talking about the average. I'm just talking about the shit. symbolism that they, they put they put in the movies, meaning. How fearful they were of you, like how great right. and magnanimous you used to be. This is the symbolism, like you this big ass super basculist fucking dragon motherfucker, and you and little Harry Potter. He's little Harry Potter, and right. he has no, Potter. he has no motherfucking real magic. Is actually, that he's you? it's just his Potter. courage and character. That's <laughs> Pat Potter's main main thing is his character and you know, um, and his courage. So, you know, uh, wait a minute, he, he, Hermione, who's supposed to be mixed blood, she's the one who actually had the real magic. See, they called her Muggle. She was mixed, and she actually was the more powerful one who was more mixed. So you gotta you gotta see the symbolism in all this shit. Then the Phoenix comes in at the end of the movie when Harry Potter's getting attacked, and the Phoenix blinds the, the Basilisk, which right. dragon means eye. The Phoenix takes out his eye. So now he has no more knowledge. Exactly. See, all of this different sense. This is you. This is what because you were using knowledge to defeat them for so long. This is, this is what they praise. They praise the night. In every one of these movies, it's about the light. Oh, the light. Can I get the light? It's all about information and knowledge. The ring. The, the whole thing. The, the gold ring. The long ships. The golden bell. I'm going to make my you know, kids uh, watch Harry Potter fucking, with Joe. Uh, what's the... Uh, the yeah, because that's what needs to happen. It, it can't... Well, what really see, needs to happen? talking like this shit is... Well, just, I, uh, well you don't need to do that. I just, I, just, I just finished the documentary, Kev. Face of the Dragon. Hey, Kev, can you come to the crib, nigga? Kev. No. You, you can, sit no. down with the kids? No. 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 Fuck the crib. You can watch the damn fuck documentary, the Face of the no. Dragon, Kev. today. Kev. <laughs> that's what you can do. No. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You missing the boat, Doc. What do you, mean? you need to be you teaching classes. You need to be teaching ki you, kids. Bruh, I'm Symbols. I got to say this, and when you hear it, you're going to know it didn't come from me. I see you in a classroom full of black children breaking down That's Harry Potter do. so they can see themselves. You got to break their, down all the movies, nigga. Their fathers. <laughs> I'm going to do That's it. your their, job, nigga. Their That's fathers. one of the documentaries coming oh, up no, next. No, no, uh, That's your job. No, no, fuck the documentary, Ken. <laughs> fuck the documentary. Ken want to do the shit I'm, at home I'm by I'm himself. He don't want to deal right. with nobody's kids. I'm about to drop <laughs> you some can. Aries, nigga. <laughs> fuck all that. <laughs> I'm about to put this inconvenient, fucked up shit in your spirit. <laughs> you, and got then to, you, you got to deal, deal with kids. <laughs> you deal hey, with it. Hey, Jeff. The fact that young black kids do not know who they are can be changed better by nobody is, in this Jeff. room Jeff. other than you. Jeff, you need to do that. Here shit. it is. You're the new leader of the Boys and Girls Club, How? nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> I will Kim? give you the knowledge so that you can look at it over and over Kim? and rewind Kim? and pause, Kim. and that's that what I've done. That is not what you I've have put been my, called to that do. That was channeled from the ancestors that for you. That is not what you <laughs> that's have been what called to do. But that I will say this too, to though. I, no, but you know listen, what? I'm going to put you on <laughs> in the rant. Jeff, I'm about to put you on the rant in a second. But I will Kim's say this too. Ass. I will say this too, though. The movies 
are half truths. They're not oh, whole yeah. truths. They're, oh, yes. they're hidden. No, they're hidden information. They got some symbols and shit, but you don't take that shit as God. scholarly knowledge. No. What you got to do is go do the motherfucking research right. because right. there is scholarly research out there. I like uh, Lawrence Gardner. See, yeah. Lawrence Gardner, like I said, is quick to say all of the royal families go all the way back to the royalty of ancient Egypt. This is exactly what the Masons... Sumeria. This Sumeria. is what the Masons even say. The Masons would be like, yeah, all of the knowledge from, from Masonry goes all the way back to ancient Egypt. Well, nigga, how did you get it? How did it get to, to England? You. How did England become the mother lodge? We gave it to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, again, y'all, in a way, they saying we tie into the bloodline. This is what... No, this is what... What's the white man with the white hair? Uh, D David Icke. Oh, David. Yeah. Oh, all yeah, of the Icke. leaders of Europe, right. they're reptilians, reptilians and they're shapeshifters. First off, <laughs> let's just... Let's just be clear here. How did they become tied into the bloodline? And how are they royal and the Dogon aren't? Who the now, Dogon? we already know who the Dogon are. No, we don't. Who's the Dogon? You don't know. <laughs> okay, well, help me but out. The Dogon, everybody already know, the Dogons are the Egyptians who escaped from Egypt right. and, oh. and went to Mali. And Mali was this, the center of this, knowledge in the world. Mali was the center of knowledge in the world. If you look at the Dogon history, these people don't have any technology, but they were right. the first to map the star system Sirius right. A, Sirius B, yep. and Sirius C, Damn. Potolo. Yeah. M Mansa Musa. And they mapped Mali. it so perfectly that even the white folk come there like, okay, how'd y'all do this? Yeah, serious, right. the with serious, no telescopes. Serious mysteries. That book, The Serious Serious Mysteries. Serious mysteries with no telescopes. How did y'all do this? <laughs> and then the hey. man, the, and then the man will come out and say, the Hogan of the Do, the Hogan is the Dogon mm -hmm. priest. He's so holy, can't nobody touch him. Right. If you touch him, his job is over. So you gotta get another <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you, you done shorted him out. You done shorted man. him out. <laughs> One so, game of Duck, Duck, Goose, and we need another It's game. over. Right. <laughs> so, no. The Hogan told them. Okay. The Nomos came. Well, what yep. are the Nomos? Oh, reptilians from Sirius mm -hmm. B. Well, you, we can't even see Sirius B. How do you know it's there? Well, let me draw it on the ground for you. Wait, and Drew see. It on the, wait, wait. Sirius B and C. Drew it on the ground. Yeah. The white folk poured plaster into it, kept the plaster, took it back to NASA, and map the shit, and it's there. Yeah. And Sirius C that they just found recently, not too long ago. But <laughs> that's what I'm... The, the <laughs> point that I'm saying is they did all of this shit... Mm -hmm. Dogons. ...with no technology. The Dogons, Nam. Now, now, wait a minute. Dogons, Talked Nam. about the Nomos. This is why I say look up that guy, Credo Mutua. Nomos, Nam. I feel, to me personally, David Icke, this European guy from London or wherever he's from, mm -hmm. he say he's Credo Mutua's... Mutwa says, 600-year-old necklace on, you know, showing how the aliens came and had sex. David when I, when I say aliens, I'm talking about these reptilians. Right. Now, it would make sense because in all of the royal symbology is the dragon. Is the reptilian. Is the crocodilian. Is, and all that shit got westernized and turned into Lucifer. And all that shit started in Africa? So here, you take Pal Gasol, we'll take the ancient shit, and then relabel exactly. it as evil. Exactly. <laughs> you take Pal, yep. we'll take the shit that made you powerful. Mm. Mm. Not only that, and put that I want to go, go back to Harry Potter real quick. So in Harry Potter, when he's fighting the, the basilisk, uh, the the uh, phoenix brings him uh, a hat, uh, one one of the the little witch's hat. Right. So symbolically, that represents the fez. Yeah, was that the Peleus? Yeah, the Peleus or the or the fez. Right. So he brings him that. And then what's in the hat is Jeff. You lost. No, I'm not. I know. I'm just <laughs> thinking when he said fez. No. He said fez. I went well, straight to Steely Dan. No. Well, yeah. Oh, well, you're never gonna do it without a fez on. 
but he brings him the sword. And sword is S word, secret word. So anybody understands masonry, what? sword, yeah, sword is secret word. So that's the that's the Mason's way of telling you that secret information has been handed over. So the Phoenix brings him the secret knowledge and he's able to defeat the basilisk or the dragon. So this is this is they understand, like you said, they took the knowledge. <laughs> they took it. Here, you go ahead and you take that Christianity. Even in even in the Take uh, Dusty Pal right. Gazal. Even even in, <laughs> even in the Take uh, first Sunday land, Bishop Land man. of the Lost, one of the intelligent one of the intelligent slee stacks, he said that um our people lost our way when the new God came. And he was like, and so I'm but see, at, let me just say this. I looked at that shit, and I don't really fuck with the... I, I, I see the symbology in certain shit, and it be there, but I don't fuck with the TV shit. Did you I, know? I, I, I like to point people in the direction of Zachariah Stitchin. Take his... Read his books. What's the other motherfucker? But, Chariots of the Gods? Yeah, but... It's a but, few... It's but, a, but, I, but, I like to go the scholarly route, and then... But even, well, let but me just even, say, as a foundation, I like to do the scholarly route first. Then, you, when you watch a movie, well, then yeah, you'll be able you pick, to that's, see that's how you like pick the symbolism. Oh, out of it. Right. Oh, the symbol, but because that, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to send a message that the movies got all the jewels in it when in fact they don't. It's it's some it's they, some it's some I, bullshit. I think it's some, though, I, I, most I, of them do. It's a little bit of that. it's a little bit of bullshit okay, in it though. I, I get you both. And I believe you are both right. I think that the movies give you a piece to bring you in, but because the movies are such a powerful medium. Right, storytelling. People, yeah, yeah, people yeah. are so just not well, that's the well, that's information the oriented to the point that they need to start here to get there. Right, I think but that's the, yes. I, you're get right. You're absolutely the right. To get them there. See, I've, again, I went to film school, so I was taught in film school that anything that's on the screen, Ivan it's, Van it's, it's good. meant to be yeah. there. Like you, you, okay, you, right. Anything that, the, anything, that you see in front of the screen, thing you the see. director meant it to be there, or yes. the producers meant it to be there. So it's not there arbitrarily. So that's you know that's the one thing that got me on that. But you know, going into uh, what movies are, most mm -hmm. people believe that they're fantasy. But the word fantasy doesn't mean made up. It means to make visible or to bring to light. That's mm -hmm. the etymology of fantasy. So they understand this. And when they put these things in the movies, this is their way of bringing them to light. They can't hide the knowledge. If you hide the knowledge, you get bad karma, which is what happened to us. So they understand that they're not going to make the same mistakes. So they say, we well, got to give it back we, to we them. We didn't really hide the knowledge because well, we, we still didn't give had it to we, we didn't give it to We them. had the dragon moors, too. I meant the, well, the Phoenix. Phoenix moors. But that's, again, but we held it first. And then the Phoenix moors gave it to them towards the end. When they saw that the dragons was fucking up, they were like, oh, shit, these niggas ain't gonna stop oh, smacking shit, the shit Oh, shit, we gave it to them, goddammit. <laughs> but it was a little late, though. It was on, so, the, it was on some old, oh, nigga, we about to die. Not here, 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 take the keys to my Ferrari. Year 996, <laughs> is that when we gave it to them? So let me just do this real quick. Ivan Van Sertima, mm -hmm. they came before Columbus. Okay, hold on. You gotta read that. Ivan Van Sertima? Yes. Ivan Van Sertima, they came before Columbus. Nature Knows No Color Line. That's a good one. Nature Knows lo No Color Not. J.A. Rogers. J.A. Rogers. Golden Age of the Moor. Mm -hmm. Ivan Van Sertima. You got to do that. There's a lot of books out there that you got to get H your... History, is a History of the Moors in Spain by Stanley Lane Poole. Yep. Um... Uh, Already said eight, ancient and modern Britons. That's the actual that ancient, ancient and modern, modern is the first one you should read. First off, it ain't no easy read, nigga. <laughs> no, it's not. But it's, <laughs> it, it has all of your lineage about being Moors and populating Europe. But see, all so Europe. watch this. So watch this. You read ancient and modern Britons, mm -hmm. and then go back and watch Braveheart, and then you'll see. see I haven't watched Braveheart in a long you'll time. You'll see Braveheart. Now Braveheart got a white man. <laughs> it's fucking Mel Gibson <laughs> as a pick. Now, Is you he? in that book, the wait, Picts, wait, in the, in the in the Braveheart movie, he's a Pictic. Yeah, he's he's a Pictic, and the really? Pictics, the Pictics, Pictics are black. If you yeah, read the black. Conan, and you read Conan the Barbarian, the Pictics, the Pictics, Pictics are black. is black. Or Conan the Barbarian? No, who was who was Conan fighting against? And, and he was a slave. Conan right, so was I a slave. Say, who was he fighting against in that movie? James Earl Jones. James who became Earl what? Turned, he was a dragon. Turned. He was a, he turned into a he turned serpent. Into a serpent. <laughs> he was a wizard. He had just come to me. 
And the bitch just jumped off and killed himself. <laughs> False like, Doom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was his name. Right. False Doom. Doom. The nigga turned into a snake a, in that movie. A big ass snake. Right. <laughs> uh, Ivan Van Sertima, e- Egypt Revisited. Uh, African presence in early Asia, Renoko Rashidi. These are scholars. These are people who went and did the damn research. You understand? I'm just going to watch this later and get the, the names because your, your ass is talking too fast. I'm going to tell you something else, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you listen to Zoe, he keeps uh, solidifying my point that uh, Don't say this shit. I'm gonna say it. Don't say Zoe it. is my Zoe is Don't the say smartest. Du- Zoe arguably Don't is say the it. smartest dude I know, and I know some smart motherfuckers. There is no way. I've been to Zoe's house. Zoe got a regular house. Zoe has a regular car. Zoe has a regular life. Zoe has the life of a dude who gets laid on purpose. Not one of them dudes that plays chess and Denny's at three in the morning. Those booger picking cubicle dwellers you expect this shit from. <laughs> Zoe could not have read all these fucking books without going to jail. I've and never been to be jail. Why would you jail? keep saying that? How do you have the time to read all of this shit? Because I read. It's really simple. When? So shit. I have 400 books on my Kindle right now. See, yeah. Uh, I have 400 books. What, what do you, you have an iPhone. Do you have any, do you have the Kindle app? I don't have, I don't even have a Kindle okay, so app. Okay, now, so now we're, we're starting to nail down why you don't read. Okay, well, I didn't say I didn't read. You don't read like have, me. No, because I have, a, so shit. You're I, a failure at happiness. I, I, I am. <laughs> God damn it. If I sat and read all these books, Jeff, how you reading? By candlelight, nigga. I didn't do no work, so the lights is out, but I got to read this shit. I can't. I, I don't know how you but have Kev is a reading ass nigga too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you, both of you. I, I, I just don't just, get it. Hey, stop hating on the fact that we read more than you. Yes. Okay. Is that what it is? That sounded is like that, hate. Is it scholastic <laughs> hatred? Scholastic hatred. Sounded like a little hate. Oh, God damn. Okay, cool. Let's just set this up for you to do your rant right yes, now. Yes, sir. Jeff Brown rants throughout the show, so yeah, yeah. we might as well allow him <laughs> yeah. his space to yeah. rant. <laughs> Unperturbed. Yes. Jeff Brown, ladies and gentlemen, yes. the intellectual Dang. rant. Here yeah. we go. Like the Hulk and uh, Thor Ragnarok, basically. Oh, don't say that. Now you seen it. I seen it. <laughs> oh, you got to go see it. You got to go see it. It's incredible. Oh, oh, it's not incredible. It's but it's really good. It's really good. But back to your rant. Okay. <laughs> um, good people doing good is not enough. Revolution is when good people do bad shit. This is how we keep wondering how evil has taken hold. And we can't say that only white people are evil, but they the captains of the goddamn team. Ain't nobody done evil on the earth. As like a record, from a record standpoint, from, from stats, nobody has evil stats like fat old white men. It's not enough for you to sit over on your side and do good. We got to get together and do some fuck that. Because that's the only way. Do we, some fuck that. Some I fuck like that. Me. We need to do some fuck that. Um, Kev's, oh, Kev's ass is on deck next. Um, <laughs> I need you, I need us all to take a lesson from Kev's reluctance. Um, I had a dream one night about helping people and I'm standing on the shore of this just sea of fire. It's just fire. And my people are going by it in the fire. And it hit me like a brick when I woke up. If you're going to help people who are in fire, you know what you're going to get? Burned. Burned. It's going to cost me some skin to really help my people. Black folks don't want to put no skin in the game for people they don't know. I mean, literally, no. They don't. What happens? What? Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> you made me lose my goddamn place now. What? What happens? Um, Gaddafi quoted, it's prophecy now, It's prophecy. Gaddafi said that we will fight to the last woman and child to keep America out of our business because if we don't, we will be back in slavery. And look at you now. Mm -hmm. You are in slavery. 
Dear black people listening to me, I don't know what the answer is, but God damn it, we got to do something. Because we next. We next. Whatever is coming, whatever's coming with the over militarization of small uh, police stations, with trains going by with tanks on them and artillery and mass graves, whatever that equals, it does not equal All Star Weekend for black people. It doesn't. Whatever is coming is gonna fuck you the worst. I don't know what it is. I don't know what these cats got planned. All I know is the best laid plans of mice and men. It's not going to go exactly how they say, but we going to lose a fucking lot. And here's where the start is. The start is with people like myself, like Kev's ass, <laughs> that have Kev be bushing. this be vast, bushing. oh, my God. The, imagine, imagine the minds that get changed. Mama, this black dude came to class today and broke Harry Potter down, and it's us. It's us. And he gave us these books to go read. One child. You don't know if you're talking to the, the cure for having to cut on a human body at all to heal it. You don't know if you're dealing with time travel, but you do know this. Every time that I don't do my best or I don't do the most I can do, I am denying the children of my ancestors. And my ancestors' souls <laughs> are crying out for justice. They are. Oh yeah, I talk in a circle. That's the, that's that's the way. That's why uh, <laughs> weed is such a wonderful drug. Is because it is impossible <laughs> to destroy. You can destroy a relationship in an alcohol argument. Alcohol <laughs> argument. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. I'm gonna burn the house down. In a weed argument, <laughs> it's impossible. You catch your woman cheating on you and you high. God damn it! I cannot believe you laid. In this house, in our bed, and defiled our marriage on that mattress. Guess what? Celie is having a mattress sale this Friday. Celie, money. And I get paid <laughs> next Friday. So what we need to do is figure out how the hell we can save the money to buy a new mattress so I don't have to sleep and count sheep. Here goes some sheep. Flipping over me, right? That's the way a weed argument goes. So it's impossible to destroy with a weed argument. I am coming to you from a weed disposition. Clearly. It is, imp <laughs> it is impossible <laughs> for me to destroy Clearly. from this disposition. What I am saying is that the shit we talking about and the shit we going through from the beginning of time to right is connected. And it's our turn, you up to bat, people who have gotten past slavery, people who know this knowledge we're discussing. We ain't talking about no shit that's secret. You can find this shit. You can go on YouTube, you know, God damn it, D Dr. Phil Valentine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bust open some Dr. Phil Valentine. It is your time. Your time is now. Do some shit for some black people you don't know. I'm done. Wow. This is why it's called the intellectual <laughs> rant. <laughs> Sometimes it's more rant than intellectual. But no, it's no, no. It's always intellectual, man. <laughs> Listen. Jeff brings up a lot of salient points, man. There's another book I want you guys to get. What book is that? What book is that? What book? Let me just... What you got? I read this book, and it really tied a lot of things together. I think it's called... Mother language is this your beat yes <laughs> jeff man you're doing all right man i'm doing all, I, do, I do what i can i don't know why i don't know why <laughs> kevin came netflix. to me and not to you yeah this was on this was netflix special a friend of mine a uh, shout out to owen smith i wrote this for, for him you put this on a netflix special yes sir so you selling beats like that i do, I do all right man and jeff man 
You gonna hook up Kevin? If he call me. If he no, no, no. <laughs> not if he don't go talk to them goddamn kids about Harry Potter on this on my cell. You goddamn it, right. Kevin. Kevin. I tell you what. You tell me. You you tell me the same thing after I show you this documentary. Then you ask me if I'm if I'm not doing. Okay. What what, what is it? What's the documentary? Goddamn. I'll send it to you. It's not okay. out yet. I just you finished s- it this morning. Oh oh oh, your shit. Okay. This is my shit. <laughs> yeah, this is my shit. Face of the Dragon. But I asked you last week. I asked what, what the uh, video should be called. You said Face of the Dragon. Face of the Dragon. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, that's look, right. I'm going to come back to it. Yes, sir. Because I can't find this book. But it's about the origin of language. And we need to understand. White people can't be the father of philosophy, the father of medicine. The fa- This is how European... Like this, this is what a European Pythagor- education would. Yeah, Pythagoras, Pythagoras, Socrates, Socrates, Socrates Plato. Aristotle, Plato, the father of this, the father of that. All you motherfuckers was sitting waiting to get into the mystery yep. schools of ancient Egypt. And your, more important than that, your life developed after hours. While we're talking and writing books, you didn't have a language. Right. That has to be well, clear. They also learned a lot of that from the Phoenicians, the Canaanite Phoenicians. But what is a, what that, is that, a yeah, Phoenician? The yeah, they were, yeah, they were brothers. That's what I'm but, saying. What is a Phoenician? <laughs> See, the, uh, the biggest pimp job we got mm. Mm. was when they started breaking down mm-hmm. Noah's people. Mm-hmm. Noah's three sons. The Shem, Ham, that bullshit. Shem, yeah. Ham, and yeah, Japheth. Yeah, yeah. If you go to a library and you look up the depiction of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, they all three races. But wait a minute. These niggas was right. triplets. <laughs> yeah, how'd you do that? You mean... What kind of freak shit was your mama on that night? You mean <laughs> Nyama, Noah's wife, had three mm-hmm. sons of three different races? See the Kobe with that Kobe, that girl Kobe was messing with? She had a menage a quattro. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? It's all types of foolery in the history. Why is this important? How does this pertain to fucking Libya? I'm going to tell you how it pertains to Libya. Lost people get used up. Yep. Period. Damn. <laughs> Damn, D- dude. Dude. Shit. Nigeria is in the throes of Catholicism. I was in the I was in the Uber with a Nigerian. He was like, "Nah, man, we can't really do our religion the way we used to do the religion because we get kind of shamed because the Catholic Church is there." The Catholic Church is pushing the Catholic Church agenda. Your shit is evil. Shango is evil? Obatala is evil? Yeah. Take dirty hippie pal Gasol Jesus. (laughs) Do you get what I'm saying? He was like, we get shamed for believing our own shit. Lost people get used up. Mm. There are Nigerians going through Libya. There's Ghanaians going through Libya. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. We done lost faith in ourselves as a people. It's niggas over here that got a problem with niggas over there. Y'all niggas didn't do nothing to get us. Y'all left us over here. Well, what the fuck? What? Some of y'all sold us over here, right? What's happening to them over there? When they go through customs, don't fuck with the niggas that are here. They get, yep. the, you, you do know, yep. I didn't had you Africans yep. tell me. You motherfuckers are lazy. They get a yeah. narrative don't, of the yep. type of black person that's in America. Black people and in they, America get, they get conditioned not to cr- build relationships with the brothers that are here. They are not yep. your brothers. Lost people get used up video about that on YouTube with these brothers they sitting in the room all these Africans come here and they sit in the room and they tell them about that right they show them pictures of American brothers and they tell them you don't want to do this I mean <laughs> yeah. exactly what there was a, did you see that video of the black Egyptian dude when he said customs told him you're not black you're Arab and when you go to America you cling to Arab don't don't say you black you going to no, fuck your that. shit yeah. up. See? <laughs> See? And he was as See? black as he was. He was as black as whatever. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, Egyptian has become a nationality. I got a friend, his name is Rami. He was born in Egypt, but he's an Arab. First off, know what Arab means. Arab means nomad. Yeah, wanderer, I thought, yeah. Wanderer, same as Hebrew, Araba. But my thing is- well, Let me finish the okay. point. They don't really have a place to be. They moved in. Uh, Rome fell and moved out. The Arabs moved into Egypt. So today, nationality-wise, you get to say, oh, I'm an Egyptian because I was born in the country of Egypt. But so they kind of like gangbangers, how gangbangers don't own none of the property. Hey, do you understand but they me? Call, but they talking about this our hood. Do you understand me? Huh? Huh? In the great spirit of the, the great spirit of, <laughs> of the Baba good brother, Dick right, man. So again, ancient Egyptians were the Moors. This is what a lot of people don't understand. Mm, uh, Doctor yes. Williams says this a lot. Ancient Egyptians are more. Yes. So is the ancient Mali, right, mm. or the Dogon, yep. or all the way across Libyan, yep. all the way across Mauritania, all that. That's what it means. All Mauritania that. Means Mauritania. <laughs> more. Okay, question. <laughs> question. Lost people get used. You two smart motherfuckers. Tie this together for me. Okay. I am I am leaning towards... I am Malcolm X. You are stupid. <laughs> I, I am Malcolm leaning X. towards the belief <laughs> that this was all one land, one land mass and that it broke apart. Mm -hmm. That's one. I am leaning towards that belief. I am also strongly leaning toward the belief that way, way less of us were brought here as slaves, as is right. the narrative. Of course. Right. How does that tie in to this? Who we are originally to this land, how does that tie in? To Here's what, the bottom slavery? line. To slavery? Here's to, the to bottom line. These these lineage, like, like you're oh. talking about the Mali people. In oh, it. Oh. Yeah. We went from spirit, spirit people, to opportunist, to animal people. Come on. Spirit people were connected to the fucking universe. Mm -hmm. okay. How the fuck you think they built the pyramids right. all over the world? Right. There was some spirit shit going on. Then some mm -hmm. animal people came into play and said, we finna do the animal shit. Because you spirit niggas is over there meditating mm -hmm. yeah. and, and lifting rocks and shit. <laughs> spirit, fuck that. Yes. This spirit is about... Is Spirit is Randy Moss. <laughs> Lifting rocks. Right. Uh, animal is Bill Belichick. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you get it? Animal is, uh, I'm going to deflate these balls and steal these plays. You get it? Spirit is just throw the ball anywhere near my numbers and I'm going to catch it. Spirit is the no-look pass. Animal is Donald Sterling. Wow. Am, I, am I close? No, I, I like that. Yes. Yes. What is you was making a point. I forgot about it now. <laughs> I forgot it was now. It's a bunch of My old bullshit old has shit. that effect on people. Yeah, anyway, on. I'm just going to wrap it up with this real quick. Black people were not meant to be slaves. Hell no. Even mm -hmm. if you go back to what Kevin started this conversation with, with the Anunnaki, Enlil, Inky, right? Just real quick, Anunnaki... From Anu to Earth in sets of 50 yeah. or, you know, whatever. From heaven to earth. Yeah. From heaven to earth. Yeah, they came. Anu is most high. Mm -hmm. Ki is earth. Mm -hmm. This is where you get your word G or geo. Geology. Mm -hmm. Geometry. Jeff. Jeff. Joffrey. <laughs> Joffrey. Earth, right? <laughs> Fucking Anunnaki. White people going crazy over Anunnaki mm -hmm. right now. Anunnaki... Sumer, yep. Nibiru, yep. Planet X. <laughs> oh my God, Zachariah Stitchin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every religion has a plural for gods. Yes. The Sumerians is Anunnaki. The Hebrews is Elohim. The Egyptians is Neger. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, God. We, we got it. It's some plural shit going on. All right. These motherfuckers came to South Africa to mine the gold. This is why they say they created human beings. But right. the gods had compassion for the beings they, they created. created. The Amelu, 
right? The servants. The Lulu Amelu. This is why when they found Lucy, four million years old, those bones, they called her Lucy because it was known by the Sumerians as Lulu or servant. Lulu Amelu, the servant. Well, that matriculates into history as servant of God. Right. The Muslim will say Abdullah, servant of Allah. Okay, nigga. <laughs> At the bottom line, even the gods had mercy. So, damn, we created them to be slaves, to mine the gold fields for us, but we love them. They're our children. Right. Nobody told a human to go, let's start selling some other humans. <laughs> right. Especially the humans who came from the original humans. Right. Now, it's a scientific fact that black people are the first being, the first homo sapien. I'm tired of Richard Dawkins, the motherfucking <laughs> atheist. He want to wear a shirt talking about, I am Africa and I'm from the motherland. <laughs> well, motherfucker, stop all this racist shit. Right. How about that? Tell the truth. If you from Africa, you can't be more African than me. You can't be more African than the African that lived here. Right. But you ain't gonna give up your motherfucking position in society, which was which was fucking garnered off of the backs of black slavery. You not gonna you not gonna undo that. Hell no. But you're gonna sit there with your little accent. Oh yes, uh, this is very ignorant, and you know. We are all one, and all the platitudes <laughs> and all the bullshit. I'm above this shit my ancestors did for me to be here. <laughs> right. <laughs> shit pisses me off. All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm just ranting. I don't normally rant. I usually have shit written out. Jeff, you did that too? No, no. This is new. My nigga cold. Yeah. You better ask him for some beats. We already got the handle now, thanks to you. Yeah, of course, it's all <laughs> thanks to me. Now, thanks to you. If you weren't on the show, no, thanks me, to you. you wouldn't have access to him. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yes. Uh, hey! The Zoa Morning Show, like I said, man, we don't have all the answers, man. We just, we just like to talk about it, get some shit out there. And then you go do the research on your own. We gave you a whole bunch of books to, to research and all of that. Go do some studying, man. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. You already know the Voice of Reason is happening tonight, 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Kev, I'm behind time. I got to go. We, we got to wrap it. I'm going to talk right. to you guys Face next the dragon. week with a new topic, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. We out. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>